Welcome back to Sunrise on this Thursday morning. We have an ongoing series here we call What's Next, and it looks at innovation, technology, and work in the post-COVID world. So today, What's Next is focused on something called blockchain technology. And Nina Melhoff explains what it is and how Portland State is at the leading edge of teaching why it's important. Blockchain is just a permanent digital list of data. Who, when, where, how much? Okay, data needs to be entered. It's sent to a network of computers that validate it. The information is then saved into a new block of data on all those computers, combined with others to create a chain that once verified is permanent and unchangeable. If a hacker tries to alter or delete info in one computer, it won't match the blockchain in the others and won't go through. Bitcoin is the most famous to use it, assigning real people an ID number that's permanently attached to each transaction with a tracked date and amount bought or sold. But its uses are unlimited. Think elections, event tickets, product inventories, real estate, medical records. Think of it for safety and traceability in food. A crate of lettuce gets its own barcode that's scanned when it's picked and goes into a blockchain. It's scanned at each stop along the way in trucks and refrigerators until the customer buys it. If E. coli pops up, the blockchain will show where and when it came from in seconds versus the average now of seven days where all the produce has to be recalled and thrown out businesses are starting to really see the value. So we are in a, this explosion. We're right at the beginning. COVID had a lot to do with that because everyone started digitalizing before they thought they were going to. So it really advanced things quickly. And so now so many companies are re recognizing that they really need these skills and nobody has them yet. It's why Portland State accounting professor Christy Uthis and head of business management Dr. Stanton Heister started the university's business blockchain certificate program. It's a year of classes to learn not how to code or build blockchain, but how businesses could use it. PSU is one of only two schools in the country doing this, and grad student Riley Fay. It clicked. I realized how important this is, how crazy this technology is. Is in the program. The technology is secure, so our privacy is secure, because I think that's so important right now when we're practically giving our data away to every <laughs> company that comes around. She and PSU classmates Maurice Pam and Rob Ripley were chosen to be among just 16 students in the world for the Global Standards Mapping Initiative. Blockchain is so new, there's no legislation governing it. Nothing is standardized yet. Global taxation, real money versus crypto, how digital identities are created, these students will be researching and developing them. I'm hoping that I can develop some skills that I'll be able to use and even if I don't end up with a blockchain company, being able to just introduce other businesses to blockchain that could use it. With blockchain being the most sought after hard skill companies want most in a new hire, Riley and her colleagues are on their way to a bright future. Nina Melhoff, KGW News.